Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, December 31st. I'm James Spann, New Year's Eve, and the weather's about to turn wet. Now, we'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m., last day of 2012. Here's a look at downtown Fayette. It's cold, but not as cold as uh, yesterday morning. Up at Chihaw State Park, it's been pretty cold up there in recent days. Uh, that's a look at the lodge as seen from the uh, sky cam that's on top of the restaurant. And up in Huntsville, look at the big old Saturn V rocket at the Alabama Space and Rocket Center. Got a big old trough back in the southwest United States. That's going to push clouds in here today, and rain will likely arrive tonight. Peak of temperatures early this morning. A few spots are below freezing up in northeast Alabama, but most locations are in the mid-30s with a southerly wind beginning to kick in and clouds increasing. And around the nation, it's pretty cold. I mean, it's hard to find any warmth. And keep in mind, a lot of the nation has a snow cover now. I think about 60% of the United States, in fact. Uh, speaking of snow, uh, we have winter weather advisories. You can see where the snow is likely with this new storm. From uh, near Amarillo, Texas, up to Indianapolis, some of the states with winter weather advisories include uh, Kansas, Missouri, parts of Illinois, Indiana. And up in that region, snow amounts uh, about two to four inches are likely. That's the uh, probabilities of snow accumulation there of at least four inches. And the bullseye is right over central Kansas. Around here, just wet. You know, it's Kind of an interesting setup. It's it's too cool and stable for severe weather, which is good. But for the snow lovers, it's too warm for snow or, you know, wintry type stuff. Just wet. A lot of clouds and rain this week. This is the rain through Monday morning of next week. This is a seven-day rain chart showing amounts of about one inch expected this week. All right, model fans. We'll check the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon today at 500 millibars. There's your trough in the west, and down below that, we stay dry today. But rain breaks out to the west over Texas and Oklahoma. Snow breaks out over Colorado, Kansas, and parts of Missouri. And uh, tomorrow, you can see uh, that trough begins to lift out, but new energy dives down the California coast. And down below that, New Year's Day just looks wet. Uh, rain likely throughout much of the day. Temperatures will uh, you know, be in the 50s, so obviously no winter weather issues here. Just an old-fashioned rainy day. There might be a rumble of thunder down over South Alabama tomorrow evening, but uh, severe weather not happening. All right, Wednesday, January 2nd. Again, you can see energy over Baja, California. We have troughing to the north, and down below that, the day Wednesday should be dry, but note that batch of rain over the western Gulf. A pretty good chance uh, that uh, light rain moves up into Alabama Wednesday night. How far north? Kind of a question. I think a pretty good chance it'll make it Interstate 20. So Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, probably more rain Wednesday night. And then Thursday, we've got troughing north and west of the state. And the rain begins to push out by midday Thursday. So Wednesday night and really early Thursday morning, there could be some light rain uh, for the southern two-thirds of the state from roughly I-20 south. And then on Friday, uh, that's a 1032 high dropping in here. It should be a pretty chilly day. Uh, the GFS is printing a high of only 46 on Friday, but at least the sky will be sunny. There's a peak at the European, just looking at that uh, second batch of rain that's a little wetter than the GFS. This is Thursday morning at 6 o'clock, and that's got rain almost up to the Tennessee Valley. Uh, but again, the, the heaviest rain with that feature should be down south. All right, Saturday as we kick off the weekend, looks dry and cool. Uh, we'll start the day in the 20s. Uh, the high should be around 50. And then on Sunday, pretty good trough developing north of the state. And that's got uh, kind of a windy and cold look, if this is right. Sunday would be brisk and breezy and cold uh, with a high of maybe upper 40s. But the weekend would be dry and kind of chilly. And then a week from today, Monday of next week, that looks like a very cold morning with a surface high right on top of us, uh, but dry. So for now... Uh, after we get past uh, midday Thursday, the weather looks chilly and dry Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we'll go out there toward the end of the forecast period. This is January 15th. Got a vortex up on the Canadian border, a pretty fast flow down below that, and that looks kind of suspicious. Got a cold 1036 high on the Idaho-Canadian border with a surface low coming up through the Gulf Coast down here. 
And that might suggest maybe some snow for somebody on the northern flank of that. But if that's right, that would be rain. So at the moment, no sign of any winter weather woes for the Deep South. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Well, I have notes on the blog. Uh, we're on the holiday schedule here, so we're doing one video per day. We'll have uh, one video tomorrow for New Year's Day, then back to a regular two-a-day schedule on Wednesday. So thanks for watching. Have a very happy New Year, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.